to my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, don't know if you recognise these surroundings. This is my mum's flat in London um, where I'm here for, wait, it's Sunday, today, and then on Tuesday morning I'm flying for Ibiza. So yeah, two more nights here. Um, and yeah, it's about 5 or 6pm and my friend has just cancelled on me for our plans for tonight. So... That's actually fine though because honestly I feel like I maybe manifested that for myself because I was like I really just want to stay in and make a vision board and then I was just like oh I really just want a cosy night in but it's fine I should probably you know go see my friend I've not seen her for ages um anyway and then she just said oh um can we reschedule and I'm like yeah that's literally fine so that's all good um anyway so what did I do today what did I actually do today oh yeah you know I've got this co-working um week membership i told you about it in my last vlog i'm saying that as if you all actually pay attention to every single thing i say so it's fine if you don't remember but um yeah i'm at my mum's place in brixton around the corner there's a nice co-working cafe cafe they call it brunch hall i don't know it's it's big good wi-fi really nice coffee um so i've got that so even though it's sunday um sorry my arm is tired so i'm literally just gonna rest my arm on the sofa like that um my arm is tired because i've been working out this week anyway i'm getting sidetracked this morning i worked until about 2 p.m where i ordered some beetroot gnocchi at this co-working space it's called Can canover hall if anybody wants to look it up um had some lovely beetroot gnocchi and i say work i was working but not really on client work did a tiny bit of client work but then i was more just i was just feeling really creative today and i actually wrote three blog posts for my personal website which is crazy because i haven't written a blog post for my personal website in about two years and then i just like bashed three out today but um i think it felt really nice actually it was i just feel really creative today um, so I redesigned the whole homepage and everything, which is something that's been on my to-do list for ages, even though people don't really read blogs at the moment. Or do you read blogs? Let me know in the comments if you read blogs. Um, I read, like, occasionally, I more, I more read articles and LinkedIn articles and stuff like that. So I know that that's what I should be writing, really. But just for the layout of my website and things, I really wanted to have some long written content on there. Um, cause most of what I do is all video. Of course, you guys know that cause you're watching me here on my YouTube channel. Um, or maybe you've seen me on TikTok, but I do also like to write occasionally. So anyway, wrote some blog posts today, redesigned my website. I've got a nice new like link in bio thing that you can see if you click the link in my bio on Instagram and TikTok. <gasps> What else? Yeah, then I had this beetroot gnocchi. It was tasty. Then came back here and I laid out in the sun and I started this book. Um, I started this book called Untamed by Glennon Doyle. I got this as a gift for, as you can see, it's absolutely battered. I got this as a gift for my mum for her 50th after it was recommended to be to me by my friend Emily. Um, it says on the back, who were you before the world told you who to be? Deep already from the off. Um, so yeah, and I'm about that far in so far. So not, I've read like a couple of chapters. Um, and yeah, interesting. My mum absolutely loved it. So yeah, I said, I'll read it after her. So I'm going to take that on holiday with me, I think. And that can be one of my holiday reads. Um, so yeah, I laid out in the sun on mum's sun lounger in her garden for a little bit reading. Then I came in, then I made some delicious, like, I was going to say lunch then, but it was like 4pm, so I made a delicious meal, um, which was fennel, braised fennel and beans. I'm going to put a little clip of the meal. Delicious. Um, Chef Tom Walton, I think, on Instagram, he posted the recipe. Then, what did I do then? Then it comes to now, and I've been cancelled on, which is fine, I'm happy with that. And I've actually just poured a glass of wine because I have it in from yesterday. I didn't finish that bottle yesterday. That was in the last vlog, if anybody watched. Um, and it's lovely wine. So I just thought I'm going to have a glass and I'm going to get to making this vision board. Um, I didn't think about this, actually. Am I going to share my vision board with you? No, I don't think I am. I think it's really personal. And I think it's something that's just like I find really fun. I just love planning. I'm such a planner. 
as much as I'm trying to live in the present moment, I do love planning and dreaming away. So I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm just excited, honestly. I'm excited for the rest of the year. Had a really good coaching call with Hannah Vernon, who I'm doing some kind of coaching, life coaching and business coaching with. Um, on when was that that was on friday and it got me really excited for the rest of the year just because i just want to like seize the day and achieve some goals so yeah at the moment i'm just like formulating a bit of a kind of plan so yeah anyway what else been packing obviously prepping for ibiza um got loads of new clothes but most of them are pre-loved <laughs> on Depop or eBay. Um, got a few bits arriving tomorrow, hoping they arrive in time. Hoping that the, I ordered these bad boys. They look like regular superstars. Let me show you the one that works. They look like regular Adidas superstars to the unknowing eye. Where's the little button? Hang on. Wait, one sec. There we go. But alas, they're not they are super funky um light up trainers but the other one doesn't work i knew that when i bought them they were only 10 pounds 10 pounds how cheap is that literally 10 pounds for adidas superstars that light up i was like go on then but one of them doesn't work so i had to order a replacement battery for it and i'm hoping it arrives tomorrow because otherwise i'm gonna go to ibiza with one light up shoe anyway um okay i'm gonna stop rambling now i'm gonna get to making my vision board um and then i'm going to enjoy my wine probably mo watch some more below deck which is what i've been obsessed with kind of the past couple of weeks since i got back from yacht week obviously um and yeah that's all i've got for you for now i'll update you later <laughs> with how the vision board is going hi everyone so it's now monday i'm in this co-working space near my mum's in brixton what time is it now okay it's quarter past 10 already been on a call um had to deal with one of my clients um well not even feedback but kind of feedback but anyway i'm feeling proud of myself for dealing with feedback in a positive way um and i've just actually ordered some avocado on toast because i'm pretty hungry and it's just hit me that i'm going to have for tomorrow oh my god so exciting and today is jam packed let's have a look at my schedule okay so obviously had that call at nine now i'm just working got another call at 11 then another call at 12 then the last appointment at one which is a nice little treat another call at two then i'm going via the cocoon club office to swap this incredible bag for another incredible bag that's a bit more ibiza ready and then i've got another call at five so it's busy day i'm gonna need a lot of coffee um but i'm so excited for my holiday i can't believe it's tomorrow anyway i'm gonna dig into this breakfast and get back to it guess where we are i mean you already know because you've clicked on a video called ibiza <laughs> vlog but we're in ibiza <laughs> Um, so it's just me and Jen for night one. This is night one. Um, I haven't vlogged all today because we, we got up at 2 a.m. Literally 2 a.m. for a 5.30 a.m. flight from Gatwick. So we set the whole journey. There was nothing exciting to vlog. We had a full English at the airport <laughs> at 4 a.m. Um, and then, yeah, the flight was fine and we've landed and we went for a mutual route. We walked on the beach and we had a nap and now we're ready and we're all glammed up because we're going to a restaurant that Jen has found. By the way, shout out to Jen for showing, sorting the whole itinerary. Literally, I did nothing. All I did was show up, so it's great being, <laughs> being friends with her. Um, and tomorrow Chloe is joining us. So yeah, we have literally got a jam-packed schedule. And yeah, so this is a restaurant that we've not been to. Um, we're kind of unsure on the name because there's a couple in this hotel so i'll vlog when i get there um and yeah that's all for now i'm wearing this dress that i also wore in mykonos and it actually broke in mykonos but it's fine i'm just gonna cover this safety pin with my hair because i have to anyway yeah <laughs>
guys, we love vegan options. We've got some vegan gyoza and some veggie. Non, non yeah. Pesky options. No, you got veg, right? Um, oh, wait, yeah, this is Yeah. Good. Partially there. I know, I'm literally just started vlogging right now. Jen says I need to vloggy vlog and she's absolutely right. We're just walking into El Chiringuito and we are just amazed at the gorgeous Ontling Sea. I've got my House of CB bikini on. I'm ready to catch some rays. It's stunning. ready done my hair in a cute little very ibiza style and we're going to destino which is yeah it's owned by pasha isn't it yes yeah is. so owned by pasha it's an event um and it should be really fun so we're excited we're going to get a taxi there now and this is my little outfit it's from doll's kill i've got a bikini on underneath um and this beautiful potato bag which is from the cocoon club rental so we are ready fun but we are prioritizing Ushuaia today. Today is Friday and we're seeing Calvin Harris and MK at Ushuaia so we're super excited. Me and Jen are gonna go get ready now. Hi everyone. It is time for Ushuaia which is I'd say this is the event I've been most excited for. Yeah. So yeah even though we're super late because it's very hard to get a taxi in Ibiza at the moment. It's coming soon. We ended up getting a bus um, and we're just walking past tiny tattoo where I might pop by and get a tattoo later this week but anyway if I've done that you'll have already seen it in the little intro so let's see because I don't know what I'm getting yet um, anyway our outfits are very cute we love Ushuaia it's one of our favourite venues um, and it's MK and Calvin Harris so yeah we're ready
some sun. Good morning, everyone. Is it even still morning? Not 100% sure on that. It might be the afternoon now. But last night was so fun, honestly. Um, that was like one of the best Ibiza experiences ever. It was so much fun. And what was crazy is that it started thunderstorming halfway through. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but that literally was like such a good thing because it was so hot in the crowd. Um, and then it was literally like thunder and lightning and windy. But obviously that's like basically like air conditioning in the wild. So it was just so surreal to have these lightning flashes as well as all the amazing lasers. Um, sorry, I'm just taking my shoes off because we're walking on the beach. As you can see, we're searching for a little spot to top up our tans today. Um, yeah, just so, so fun. Um, if you're coming to Ibiza, you have to go to Ashraya. It's such a cool venue. Um, yeah, we're just having a great time. And, oh, yeah, we're walking along trying to find somewhere for some tan. Can we walk on the wet sand? I'm struggling to wade through the sand, which is so soft in Spain, lovely. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have a day of tanning nice food and tonight we have El Roa Amnesia which is one of our go-to nights in Ibiza. How many times have we done it? Twice. Twice. Twice already but we'll always go back there because it's just so so crazy. Um, El Roa parties are insane. Um, I actually did one in Dubai as well which was cool but they're all very like extravagant um, which you'll see later so um, so yeah, and then what else is on the agenda? Oh yeah, I need to buy a cowboy hat because I've forgotten mine and we're doing a space cowgirl theme for tomorrow's event. So that's another thing on the to-do list. So it's very stressful as you can see, um, lots going on. Spot for the day. What a vibe. is one of my Coachella outfits actually if anybody remembers um, so we are doing El Row at Amnesia tonight and I'm not gonna lie there is a I'm gonna say like a 70% chance I might have COVID because I've got a cough and I'm very very cold I'm very tired and I was all cold and shivery earlier but anyway actually I'm just gonna keep my voice down because nobody wants to hang around a girl with COVID um, but anyway it's all good <laughs> Chloe's giggling at me. It's all fine. Um, how excited? Uh, no, just over there. How excited are you for Elro? So excited! I've got my Elton John glasses on. You look cute. I don't know if I can show lower than there on my YouTube channel because it might be it's a bit risky. It might, I might get blocked from <laughs> getting ad money. Anyway, here's Jen. Are you excited, Jen? Very excited. Yay! And we just ordered three espresso martinis so that we can stay awake until the wee hours because nothing starts here until late, late. So, Tres espresso martinis. Cheers, ladies! Cheers. Woo!
chief itinerary planner, Genevieve, has found us a boat trip to uh, Formentera, which is a little island that we've both never been to before. So we're just about to head onto the boat now. We know I love boat trips, so I'm very excited. Spent all day yesterday lying on a sunbed recovering because I've actually developed a horrible cough. I just feel like it's some kind of lack of sleep slash, um, yeah, just generally overdone it illness. So I brought it on myself. Um, so anyway, took it, took it easy yesterday. We went into the town and had some dinner. And yeah, now we've just come to Selena's Beach where we're meeting um, Jenny's friends from Berlin. And I met the other night as well. And, um, and yeah, ready for our birthday. Um. 